Hi, welcome to BetSafe's Premier League preview for week four. I'm Alan McAnally from Sky Sports and with me as ever, in fact, as all was last year as well, Paul Dickoff. Paul, welcome back, kid. It's Arsenal and Manchester City fan. Remember, BetSafe, the official betting partner of Premier League giants, Manchester City. We're here again on BetSafe.com with all our Premier League previews trying to put you in the, direction, the correct direction and hopefully your sportsbook wallet will look a little better on Monday mornings. Paul and I will be bringing you our trebles or our accumulators rather to see if we can get you the best prices. And remember in some of the markets on BetSafe you need to get industry boosted prices because we will give you the best price. How was summer? That was very good. Pretty wasn't, good mate. Wasn't the new season started? Tell yeah, you, a lot of money being spent. There has, mate, but I tell you what, if we do half as well as we've done last season, this season we'll be doing all right. Yeah, we made know. you a few quid last year, hopefully if you went there. And this is a Premier League preview, week five, and of course we will be with you all season. Okay, let's get into it right away then. Your accumulator will be Man City, Brighton and Burnley. I've gone for West Brom, Chelsea and Watford. Yours is around 11 to 1. I'm scooting up 30. towards 30s, 31 to 1. For the simple reason that we have a, had a bit of a difference of opinion already in week four. We have. Well, I've went for um, Brighton against West Brom. Brighton at home. Yeah. Eight to five favourites. Odds on. Good price with Betsy. Twenty-one to ten to draw. West Brom two to one. Really sort of grabbed my attention. Really. I think look, West Brom start of the season um, was why um, I was going to try and stay away from it. But I've got yeah. a soft spot for Brighton and Chris yeah. Shooting. I think if they're going to have any chance of staying up this year, yeah, it's going to be their home form. Um, great crowd down there. Um, you know, picked up a decent point against Watford to the great start to the season very last good. time out. Very good. And um, you know, it's about time they've not scored yet, which might go against what, what I was saying. I was just about to say to you, buddy, that not scoring a goal yet at home, there'll be a little pressure on them. And I can just see Pulis rubbing his hands yeah. right now, giving it, yeah, we'll take 1 0. Yeah, but I just think it's one of them with West Brom for a great start going down to Brighton. Um, they might switch off a bit already, mm. um, and I just think the crowd down there and how Brighton Brighton are good at home. You know, yeah. they only lost twice last season. Yeah. The game they played against at home was against Man City. You know, and they held them out for a long time, mm. and just got a sneaky feeling for Brighton on this one. Okay, well, Paul's gone for Brighton. They are eight to five if you think they're any good, and I've gone for West Brom. Big price at two to one. Okay, your second one, City at home to Liverpool. That's the twelve thirty kickoff game. Man City versus Here's Liverpool. Here's a shock. Started early doors. I know. Yeah, I was going to say, gee whiz, you've already gone from. I mean. There's a, there's a couple of reasons behind this. That's a, a tough to call. It is. Look, Liverpool were magnificent, albeit Arsenal were awful um, yeah, when they beat them 4-0. Absolutely. Um, and City, in the games I've played this year, they've played well without hitting heights. We all know they can do. Mm. But there's a, there's a, I know it's early doors, but there's a different resilience about them this year. You mm. know, the Brighton game, away first game of the season, 0-0 for a long period. Um, Last season, that was a game they would have drawn, yeah. or possibly been beat away from home. Yeah. Everton game one 0 down, ten men all second half, came back into it again. Yeah, they did. You know, and then the Bournemouth game going one 0 down, which was a difficult game for them, and yeah. they definitely wouldn't have picked anything up from that last season. Yeah. And for me, the reason behind that resilience is, is what they can do from the bench this year. You look at the players, you know, Sani's coming off the bench, mm -hmm. Aguero's coming off the bench. Exactly. You know, Jesus might be coming off the bench at the weekend. Oh, no. um, Sterling, Bernardo Silva. You know, he's on it already, yep. guys. He's on the I City am. one. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to give you a really good preview on the Man City Liverpool game. So we're going to just cut to the chase immediately. Eight to nine City are, so they're odds on, just only a fraction odds on, so they're still a good price. 14 to 5 the draw, Liverpool 33 to 10. Over four and a half goals, 14 to 5 on Bet Safe. If you think City will win 2 1, we're giving you nearly sixes, 59 to 10. So your second one is Man City. And like I say, Paul and I are going to give you more of a detailed. Um, preview on that City Liverpool game that's on Saturday at 12:30. Your second one, or sorry, your third one, is Burnley at home to Crystal Palace, of which one of the reasons they stayed in the division was their home form. Yeah, it was. But Burnley were magnificent last year. I know um, they've already been away to Chelsea, yeah, and obviously won and picked up a great draw against Tottenham. Incredible. You know, and albeit lost at home to West Brom. Yeah. If you look at their form last season, but if you know, and I know Sean Dyche does this. He looks at certain blocks of three and four games and mm. after three games he probably would have took the four points he's got already knowing that he's got this game coming up and Crystal Palace I'm worrying for them already do you think do you think Pop, do you think Sean Dice rather is already thinking in his head it's not a must win game but we've got to be seriously you know all the work's been gearing up to if we take three points here against teams that are in and around yeah. us that's one of our, With, our without a shadow of a doubt and I know that Sean and a lot of managers doing similar sizes of club to Burnley, but mm. they, they target certain games to pick up their points yeah. 
you know, in Crystal Palace, I don't know what they want to beat them. And if you look at them last year, everything went long to Benteke. Yeah. It went in behind for Townsend or Zaha. Um, now, De Boer's come in and he's tried to play through the lines like he does at Ajax. Yeah, you know, exactly. They've got no real identity to them at the minute and they're caught in between, hence why they've not picked up a point yet. Plus as well, if you don't have the players that can play the Ajax way or the, the Dutch way he wants to oh, play, then, you, then you're struggling. You're going to be banging yeah. your head off a wall. Burnley 43, so odds against. It's a great price again on Betsafe. I did say Betsafe will give you the best prices. 94 to draw, Palace 23 to 10. If you think Burnley can nick this and win it to nil, Betsafe will give you 15 to 4. Okay, Paul's accumulator. City, Brighton and Burnley, 11 to 1. Approximately 11 to 1, something like that. I haven't made it out just exactly, but it's certainly about um, about 11 to 1. My second, I'm going to go Chelsea because I just think the opening day stung them a bit and the result against, when they had to play really Tottenham, well, yeah. they did against Spurs. And I fancy Chelsea. I fancy Chelsea big time against Leicester. I thought they were brilliant against Tottenham. I know that Tottenham were probably the better team with the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, but tactically, Conte was absolutely fantastic. You know, missing Good big one. players as well. And um, the players that came in really stood up and, and were counted. And, you know, how many times you see it? Leicester, Chelsea, Danny Drinkwater, just leaving Chelsea, just leaving Leicester signing for Chelsea. Saying? And he's, I think it is. I think it is, mainly because, not just because of Danny Drinkwater, because his relationship mm. he's got with Kante yeah, in that middle of the park, because they were the main reason why, why Leicester won the Premier League. Well, they'd be 5-6 to six Chelsea, are. I can't believe the price on Betsy. 5-6 to six Chelsea, 11-4 to four the draw, Leicester 11-3. to three. If you think Chelsea will win by two goals or more, 2-1, to one, which I think is quite a good bet. I mean, Leicester are still a decent team, they're yeah. still alright, but I just do not, do not see them going there and turning I was a little bit... Disappointed with Leicester last time out mm. against Man United. You know, I thought they, that they sat, they sat in and sat in, which teams are going to have to do against United. Yep. But with the pace they've got going forward, I don't. I felt tactically shaky, got it wrong a little bit there. Yep. You know, and played into United's hands because once United scored, Leicester were never getting back that in it again. It wasn't it? exactly. Anyway, okay. So my th sorry, my third one now will be Watford. Now it's at Southampton. I'm kind of sticking the boat out for the simple reason. I think Watford had a good start to the yep. season. I think they needed it. I like the manager. We spoke about him numerous amount of times here on our Premier League previews on Betsafe.com. I think he could be the difference this year for Watford yeah. to go to places like Southampton and turn them over. And he's made some good signings as well. Yeah. You know, and he's got a lot of pace in the team. Big, strong, powerful. Um, you know, and I was talking about Brighton getting a good point at Watford, but Watford played nearly 70 minutes with 10 men yeah. in that game. You know, um, he's nearly kept Hull up, and his his record at home over his whole managerial career has, has been fantastic. Um, but they're going to have to start picking up points away from them as well. A lot of, lot of pace going forward. Mm. I think if Southampton are going to do anything at all this year, they have to keep Gabby Dini fit. Absolutely. When they kept Van Dijk, I don't know whether he'll play or not. Probably not. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how many Isn't it sword backs and viruses are all right this weekend after <laughs> I, the transfer window. I would still finished. imagine Coutinho and Van Dijk have still got that virus that they yeah. never actually had before. Yeah. Southampton 2-3. to three. They're odds on. Home, home advantage, presumably, for that case. 29-10 to 10 the draw. 49 to 10 for Watford, almost five. It's a massive price. I don't think I can let that go, and I think I'm on a good place to be. West Brom, Chelsea, and Watford all to win, 30 to one wow. for McInally. Go on, the big fella. I know, yeah. It's early doors, isn't it? It's early doors. Anyway, okay. Some of the other games: Arsenal, Bournemouth. Tricky one for Arsenal. You know, Tough, if, isn't you're, it? if you're ready, how you're going there and saying, you know what? Just let's get 11 people behind the ball for the next yeah, 90 minutes and frustrate because. The Arsenal fans are ready to turn. Be interesting if Sanchez plays as well. They need to start the game well, Arsenal too, don't they? Not enough. Everton Spurs. I, I actually nearly put Spurs in, but we know how difficult Goodison can be, and they've had a little, you know, a bit of decent start, Everton. They have, and I looked at it, um, but it's too close to call. Mm. Um, if anything, after Spurs start, I could see Everton nicking it. Yeah. Um, I mean, they didn't play badly, albeit against ten men for long periods in the game when we were at the game on the yeah. Monday evening at the Manchester City. But at home, I think this is a toughie to call. It's a toughie, and I think Spurs will be better away from home, as, as, as we've seen already with their Wembley form. 5.30 on Saturday night, we've got Stoke against Manchester United. We've already had the visitors of Arsenal and Stoke turned them over. Yeah, they did, and look, Man United are rolling teams over at the minute, but I keep going back to it, playing on their Mark Hughes when I was at Blackburn. Mm. The big games against the big teams, especially Man United, you knew how to get results. Absolutely. Uh, let's go into Sunday then. We've done the Burnley Palace game. You've gone for Burnley. Swansea against Newcastle. I mean, if you give me a, if you give me a free bet, I probably wouldn't take it because I genuinely don't know how this is going to go. Newcastle, 
actually played very well against West Ham. Yeah. But the problem is West Ham was so well, poor. Well, Swansea well. actually under Clement, have look, they, they actually look they've looked okay. You know, they've lost a lot of cut. Lost a two big players. They have, um, but Wilfred Brony going back there. Yeah, not too sure about that one. Mm. You know, you say he should never go back, and he's he's form since he went to City and then he's been in loan a couple of times, yeah. you know, and, but, but in saying that, it's his home, so he might, he might turn it on. Just maybe. Into Monday night then, the last one, West Ham against Huddersfield. This is already an 18-pointer, <laughs> call it whatever you want. I mean, Huddersfield, to be fair to them, Seven points under nine. David Wagner have been really good and I swear I couldn't believe how poor West Ham played against Newcastle just before the international break. This is a huge game for West Ham already, game, you know, for the, the owners to come out and say, then that they're looking at his position oh. three games into the season. That's not good, man. Doesn't bode well no. at all. They need well. I, I'm not saying they're not playing for Billets, but they need to show a little bit more of what they had last year. I know they're missing Andy Carroll and a couple of players. Lanzini's only just come back. Yeah. But I didn't see any real fight. I know we're early on in the season. Going to Newcastle's not never going to be easy, but even so, but going to Newcastle hadn't picked up a point in the last couple of days. You're yeah. thinking you're going there to give everything you've got and take like away three so. points. Anyway, OK, Premier League preview week four here on BetSafe with Alan McInally and Paul Dickoff. Let's go through our accumulators again. West Brom, Chelsea and Watford, all for me to win. 30s, around 31 to 1. Paul's City, Man City that is. Brighton and Burnley, all to win, around 11 to 1. Thanks for that wee man, we'll see you okay. next week. Good to be back on BetSafe.com with our Premier League previews. We'll, of course, be back all through the season as well as bringing you and keeping you up to date with all our Champions League accumulators and hopefully a bit of information to put you in the right direction. Well, good luck with all your bets on BetSafe. Let's hope your sportsbook wallet looks a little bit healthier on Monday morning. We'll see you next week here on BetSafe.com with another Premier League preview.